What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Yesterday, my wife and I went out. We were just out and about doing some shopping. We went and had some lunch. While we were out, we stopped at two different Dollar Trees, and I could not believe how many $1 horror movies I came across. This is a Dollar Tree haul. As always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, before I jump into the Dollar Tree, I actually stopped at a thrift store yesterday, and they had a whole bunch of movies there listed uh, for a dollar, and there was a sign directly underneath of them that said anything listed for a dollar is now three for two dollars. So I grabbed six horror movies there. I grabbed something called Red Hook, something called Amusement, I've actually seen this one in other stores before. I think I saw it at Walmart a couple times. <coughs> Pardon me. Something called The Red Right Hand. Never heard of that before. Something called Spam. Spam is kind of gross. I think it's kind of gross, so that's... Lord only knows what that could be. Babbling already. Uh, happy Birthday to Me. And Ring Around the Rosie. Like I said, those movies were all listed as being a dollar, which I expected to pay six bucks for, but they said that they were three for two dollars, so I got six horror movies for four dollars there. And now moving on to the Dollar Tree haul. I'll start off with these uh, Blu-rays that I got first. I got Species with this little card attached. I started to open this because I thought it was different than the one I already had, but it's not. It's the exact same thing that I already had. And I'm not too concerned with this card, so I'll probably just eventually just give that to somebody. Same thing here with Child's Play. One dollar. It's got that cool little postcard type thing on the front of it. This is unopened. Already have this on Blu-ray. Already have this exact same copy. And finally, I got uh, Return of the Living Dead. Again, already have this copy, but the difference is I have different artwork, and I prefer this artwork more. So I'm going to keep this one and probably give the other one away at some point. And that also came with this little card on the front of it. So for a buck, you know, what the hell. I spent $3 to get three movies I already had. But I couldn't remember if I had Species on Blu-ray or not. I knew I had it, but for some reason I thought I had it on DVD. All right, now moving on to the DVDs. I got Zombie Fight Club. The Ouija Experiment. The Music Box, Ouija 3, they seem to really be beating the hell out of this whole Ouija thing. I don't know if that's like a hot button, you know, within the last year or so, but I've seen, I went from owning like one or two Ouija movies to like there being a whole ton of them. I remember way back when, when the only Ouija movie out was actually Witchboard, but whatever. This one's pretty cool. It's got William Forsythe in it. Hidden in the Woods, that looks pretty neat. Here's another one, Ouija Summoning. I bet you most of these movies have nothing to do with each other either, the Ouija movies. Uh, here's one called Indigenous. I don't know, should I be reading some of these? Uh, here's another one, the Ouija, the Ouija Resurrection, which is the Ouija Experiment Part Two. What's that? Three or four Ouija movies I got right out the gate. This one is called The Unbidden. Here's one called The Devil Dolls. A lot of these are actually even Scream Factories. They have alternate artwork inside of them. A few of them have. I might actually switch this one. I prefer that one over that one. So, yeah, there, I was very surprised at how several of these are Scream Factory movies. This one is a Magnolia release called Severance. This one is called, it's got a lenticular slip cover. Uh, and it is The Signal. A very loose slip cover that keeps falling off. All right. Here's one that I'm actually kind of surprised myself that I bought. The Munster's Scary Little Christmas. And if you look at the, the cover, and then you look at the back of this, you can clearly see that this is like a bootleg Munsters. This is not even the Munsters. So I just saw Munsters and grabbed it and didn't pay any attention to it. 
And when I got home, I realized that that is none of the people, it, you know, at a glance, does not appear to be any of the people from the Munsters. So I'm pretty positive that I'm not going to enjoy this, but I saw a Munsters Christmas DVD for a dollar and kind of just, you know, threw caution to the, threw caution to the wind. Silly. All right, the last house on Cemetery Lane. The hollow one. All light will end. Ava's possessions. I couldn't believe this. I actually have gone to one particular Dollar Tree, the closest one to my house, seemingly a hundred times in the last six or eight months. And they always only have like one or two horror movies or movies in general where they typically keep their DVDs. And last night was actually more of the same. I walked in, I walked over there. They had like four movies there, three of which were the same thing. It was like some cowboy movie that I had no interest in. And my wife said, is that it? I said, yeah, they don't have anything again. She goes, well, did you look at that? And she pointed at an end cap that had... I don't know, 12 boxes of DVDs in it. And that was where I found probably 75% of percent, 75% of what I'm showing you right now all came from this store that I damn near walked out of without seeing this. So good looking out to my wife. All right, here's one called The Rake. Here is one... We're a worthy successor to, successor to Shaun of the Dead. This one's called Stalled. Here's one called Frankenstein. One of a thousand Frankenstein movies. I'm sure this one I've probably never heard of either or never seen anything about. The Girl in the Crawl Space. I don't know how many of you have ever worked in a crawl space, but I used to do it quite a lot. And it's already not fun to be down there. I've been down there and saw like rat droppings and you know, just, I was in a crawl space, quick story. I was in a crawl space one day and there was a guy who owned this house, big spacious crawl space. It actually had a light in it. You didn't mind being down. There was a pleasure to be in this crawl space in comparison to other ones that I had been in. Well, this dude thought it was a good idea to put a fake snake down there to scare away rodents. So I opened up this some bitch's crawl space and flipped the light on, and there is literally like a king cobra sitting on top of a piece of clear plastic in plain sight, not making a sound, not moving, nothing. So immediately, you know, you should be able to see that this is a fake snake. I flipped that light on and saw that snake and screamed words that I don't want to say on my channel. And then I heard my co-worker and the owner of this house directly above me laughing at me. So yeah, he, that was when he, he didn't tell me that there was a fake snake under, you know, under in the crawl space, pardon me, until it was very obviously too late. So it works out well. I have a story for you guys and them guys had a great laugh at my expense that day. All right, moving on. The wind, the wind demons of the prairie. That sounds like a long winded title. But uh, indie horror at its best. Indie horror is cool. So, got that. Two more. One called Jackals. And one called Feral. So let me see. This one is a... Feral is a Scream Factory, but does not have alternative artwork. Jackals is Scream Factory. The Wind of the Demon's Prairie. The Wind, the wind of the Prairie. The Wind Demons of the Prairie. Holy God. Yeah, that. All right, so let me see. Let me. I'll pull out the Scream Factories that I see. There's one. I already showed you that one. I know that I saw a couple of them. Like, right as soon as I picked them up yesterday, I noticed that there were several Scream Factories in here, and it kind of took me by surprise. Yeah, this is the other one. It's a Zombie Fight Club, and this one also has alternative artwork. Alternate artwork. I just think that's neat, you know? Granted, these are not like big production movies, but it's neat to get a, a Scream Factory release with, with alternate artwork at Dollar Tree. It's just cool. All right, so that's it. That's all the movies I got yesterday. So that's 
one, two, three Blu-rays and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 movies at two Dollar Trees yesterday that I went to. And there's actually two more, but they're doubles and I already put them away and I already don't remember what they were. I already uh, stored them away for whatever future giveaway that I have sometime in the more than likely very distant future. But every once in a while, if I see one that I already have, and I know I have it, and I have two or three or four of them, if it's a good movie and I can get it for a dollar, I just get it for a dollar. That way I know I have stuff to give away. If, Like I said, if I ever decide to do that, I am now officially rambling, so I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks. Have a great day.